All right, my name is Scott. My name's Sruthi. And we're going to show you a double displacement reaction. So. so, one of the chemicals we're working with, or one of the molecules, is sodium hydroxide. It's a strong base. Its mass of the molecule is 40 grams. It completely dissociates within water, and it's a strong electrolyte. The other uh, molecule we're working with is nickel chloride, and so its molecular mass, oh no, the, the mass of the molecule is 129.59 grams. It completely dissociates in water as well, and it's also a strong electrolyte. So here's the reaction taking place, um, completely balanced. So you have two uh, sodium hydroxides mixing with uh, one nickel chloride. And as a result, you form two sodium chlorides and one nickel hydroxide. And so here are the products. Uh, so you have sodium chloride, which is a salt. Its molecular mass is 58.44 grams. It completely dissociates in water, and it's a strong electrolyte. Uh, and then you have nickel hydroxide, which is insoluble. So during the reaction, you're not going to, you're going to see a precipitate at the bottom. That's going to be nickel hydroxide. The mass is 92.71 grams. Like I said, it doesn't dissociate in water, and it's not a good electrolyte. Okay, so to perform the reaction, we're first going to add 15 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to a beaker. And it is aqueous, therefore it is a uniform solution and it is clear. And we'll add 6 milliliters of nickel chloride. And it's also clear and it's green. So when we mix the two together, the reaction of the two forms a small green precipitate at the bottom which is the nickel hydroxide because that is insoluble in water. 